Hello. In this video, I will show you how to implement a common filter in Simulink. The system that we will use is an inverted pendulum attached to a cart. In the Simulink model, we have a controller that adjusts the cart's position to keep the pendulum upright. We give the cart an initial push and have an external force applied to the pendulum for one second, six seconds into the simulation. To simulate the system in action, Simscape blocks are used. When I run the Simulink model, the cart pendulum system is simulated in real time in the window to the left. As you can see, the model has a controller and is moving correctly, so why add a common filter? While the simulation might be working perfectly, there might be noise in the system when we deploy this algorithm to the real world. Suppose there is noise in the sensors that are being used. Let's simulate this by adding in a white noise block and add that to the X position. When we run the simulation again, we see that the system is shaking back and forth. Our controllers can't do anything to alleviate the noise because it's acting based on the noisy data being received. This is where the common filter comes in to save the day. The common filter will be used to estimate the position of our system by filtering out the noise. I won't go into depth into how the algorithm works, but if you're interested, be sure to check out this video series on common filters. My colleague Melda does a fantastic job of explaining the topic. To implement the filter, we will use the common filter block. Our system is continuous, so I'll switch to that option. But if you need to deploy a model to any hardware, be sure to select discrete time. Next, we need to enter in the state space model for our system. Having an accurate state space representation of your system is very important, as this is how the filter will estimate the behavior of the system. In this case, I will have the matrices for A, B, C, and D defined in MATLAB. Instructions for deriving the state space for the system can be found in the description. We'll leave the initial states at zero and move on to the noise covariances. In my case, I didn't put any process noise into the system, but let's assume that there is some process noise associated with the angular velocity of the pendulum. Because our system has four state variables, we need to use the diagonal function and input the Q covariance as the fourth parameter. Lastly, we will enter a value similar to the noise power in as the R covariance. With the common filter block configured, let's hook it up. The U port is associated with the input force, so let's connect those together. The Y port is for the state variables we want to measure. In this case, this is the X position of the cart and the angle of the pendulum. We'll need a MUX block to input both signals into the common filter. The output of the common filter block will be a 4x1 array corresponding to our state variables. We need the X position of the cart and the pendulum angle, which is the first and third elements respectively. I will use the selector block to specify these elements. The DMUX block is then used to separate out the individual signals. Now let's run the model and see the results. We can see that there's still some jerkiness, but when we compare it to the model without the common filter, we see a vast improvement. Let's log some of the data so that we can further examine the results. Looking at the plots of the estimated and actual exposition, we can see that they are very similar up to the pendulum disturbance at the 6 second mark. This is great results, especially when we consider what the noisy system looked like. The difference seen at the 6 second mark can be attributed to the estimated angle. Looking at the estimated and actual angle, we can see a large error at the point of the external disturbance. This error is because as the angle changes, the state space would change. So you would need a common filter that would let you adjust the state space model as dynamics change. This can be done by using an extended or unscented common filter, which are also available as blocks in Simulink. To learn about extended and unscented common filters, I highly recommend you check out this video series on common filters linked in the description. It goes in depth into common filters and implementing them in MATLAB and Simulink. Thanks for watching.